Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. I look the same way that I did yesterday because it's still morning time, and usually I put my hair up first thing in the morning. So I have already done some work. It's probably 10 o'clock right now, and I'm going to go ahead and put my face on, and I don't know what I'm going to do next. I kind of want to jump on the treadmill now so I don't have to do it later, but... I don't know because I'm kind of ready to play with makeup for the day. But the smart thing would be to get on the treadmill and take a shower and then do my makeup, right? Like that would be the smart thing to do. Oh, there's Cookie. Cookie, say hi. Oh, she's so cute. Aren't you the cutest Yorkie? Yes, you are. Hi, Cookie. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm going to do that, and then uh, we'll see who I watch this morning. I'll show you guys who I'm watching or catching up with. So, okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I had to put the treadmill on pause because it's making a lot of noise. So, of course, first video I'm going to watch is Michelle 1218's Holiday Gift Guide 2014. And then I'm going to watch my friend Steph's video, Top 10 Winter Essentials. All right, so for... I think my last two videos, I need to catch up with his, um, his two, his two recent videos with his grandma. This, uh, this grandma right here, she is a hoot and I love watching his channel because most of the time it's him and his grandma driving around. Oh, you guys need to watch this. His channel name is This Kid Needs Medicine and I'll link him down below, but Oh, she's so funny. My son and I love watching her. So I'm going to watch this one. And then I think he has another one that I haven't watched. Um, maybe within the last couple of weeks or so. So anyway, you guys check them out. It has been a few hours since I have last vlogged. It's now two in the afternoon. I had lunch. I had a lean cuisine. It was a chicken, artichoke, spinach, panini or something like that. And I caught up with my show Revenge, which I forgot to mention to you guys last week or in one of my recent vlogs, but I do watch Revenge on Sunday nights. I usually record it so that I can forward through the commercials, but uh, it is so good. I have to know if any of you watching this watch Revenge because uh, I just can't wait until January the 4th. It is so freaking good. I love that show. So something else you guys were wondering about my husband's trip to Mexico. He got back safe, thank God, and he had such a great time over there. First of all, he brought lots of good food. He brought back some tamales, some salsa, some chile piquín, which is like little chiles that are pretty hot, and then you put them in, I think it's vinegar and carrots or something like that. Really, really good. My mom, my parents used to have like a chile piquín plant in the back, and I used to go pick them for her. But anyway, sweet memories. So he really enjoyed the experience, and then him and a couple of guys went to go take some toys to the boys and girls. So our life group had like a toy donation. And so we were able to raise, I think like 120, was it 120 or more than 120 um, toys for boys and girls. And I asked my husband what was the like sweetest memory that he had, like the one thing that really impacted him. And he said that it was just seeing the kids smile and and joy like after receiving something so simple like not having anything and receiving something so simple oh, like I even want to get emotional just thinking about it but just like getting something as simple as a ball and a, you know a, for the boys and a doll for the girls he said they were so happy and they also in addition to the toys they did also take chairs like folding chairs because they have like church service in one room and they have about 150 people, which is awesome. And then they go and they eat outside, like in this outdoor area. So all the benches where they have service, they were taking those benches that they sat on during service um, back and forth. So they take it outside and then they, you know, everybody would be done eating and then they take it back inside. And so our class was able to raise money for folding chairs. So that was the other thing that they took as well. So they had now have folding chairs outside to sit on. He had such a great experience. He ate some really good food. He loves his Mexican food and he was so spoiled there. They had him so spoiled. He ate lots of tacos and homemade tortillas and 
just lots of yummy stuff and he's going back or they're going back in I think July to go deliver school supplies for the kids sometimes as as our pastor says in our church sometimes our mission field is like in our very own backyard you know there's a lot of people who just um, need our help in general like in our city you don't have to go like leave the country to find somebody in need you know all right so I wanted to show you guys my nail polish racks I have two of them I need one more because I have, I guess what you would call like higher end, I guess. I mean, they're not really high end, but you know, the more expensive nail polishes here. And then I have my drugstore in these two containers, which is where I used to originally store my nail polish along with a few other clear containers. So I don't have any more room, which is why I have one Zoya nail polish there. And then I have all of these because I need one more rack. These nail polish racks I got from Amazon and I think they were maybe $30 including shipping. I'm not too sure. I'll go ahead and try to link the seller down below, but this is the rack. They hold 100 nail polishes, so I just have them sorted by brand. I know some people do color. I did brand and then color. The nail polish that I have on my nails, by the way, I love, 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 love. If you can find this color, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's like a burgundy, like a rust burgundy color. It's from Better London and it's called, I think I already said that, Rebel Fox. But I just wanted to show you my nail polish rack anyway, because I don't think I've shown that to you guys and I don't think I've posted a picture on Instagram, but that's it. If I can just get one more, then I will probably hang them up against the wall. They're just kind of like leaning on this right here in my closet, but I'll probably hang them up maybe like right there, right here somewhere. So anyway, that's my nail polish rack. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say good night. It is Tuesday night and I'm quite tired. Um, I did take my daughter to dance and then came home and we ate dinner. Um, what else? And then my husband and I were catching up on white collar again tonight. So Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit the sack, but I will see you guys tomorrow. And, oh, and then I polished my nails. You can't really tell. It looks like straight up black, but it's actually black pearl from Bobbi Brown from like her collection last year. So, okay, that's it. I will see you guys um, tomorrow morning. Good night. Bye.